Welcome back to Turn Talk to Action. Today we're talking a tough issue, child labour in Africa's mining industry. Joining me is labour activist Beth Parsons. Beth, how widespread is this problem? Gordon, it's heartbreaking. Millions of children, especially in the DRC and Tanzania, are forced into mining minerals like cobalt. They work long hours in unsafe conditions, losing their childhoods in the process and sometimes even their lives. It's shocking. While the electric vehicles are marketed as eco-friendly, the cobalt mining process behind them is far from clean, especially for children. How did this get so bad? Poverty and lack of education are the biggest drivers. Families often feel they have no choice but to send their children to work. Unfortunately, governments reliant on mining revenue are not doing enough to stop this. So, how do we address this wicked problem? We need stronger enforcement of labour laws. Countries like South Africa have made some progress, but across the continent, governments must do more. Corporations also play a critical role. Companies sourcing their minerals need to ensure they come from ethical supply chains. That's crucial. And it sounds like corporations, particularly those in the electric vehicle industry, are starting to take note. Yes, companies like Tesla and VW are beginning to enforce stricter supplier codes, which is promising. But consumers can also push for change by demanding their companies verify where their materials come from. A unified approach. Governments, corporations and consumers sounds like the way forward. Any final thoughts, Beth? These children deserve a future not just survival. If we hold companies and governments accountable, we can make real change. It's time to give these kids their childhoods back. Thank you, Bev. That powerful message. Let's hope today's conversation sparks action. See you next week for more reporting from the Coalface.